What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Eat LA where we try some of the best food and beverages all around LA. My name is Nicole. I'm Kayla. And I'm Mike. Today we're at Medici, the Neapolitan Pizza Company. All right, guys, I'm starving. Let's go. Let's do it. Medici was founded in 2015 uh, by Amit Kleinberg and it kind of had a controversial start because he sold 500 franchise licenses without even opening a single store first, which means he didn't have a good idea of startup costs, the build out costs, he projected revenue, he didn't have anything to back it up. And the franchisees, they obviously knew this and they still bought some tags. And by 2018, he thought he was gonna have a few hundred stores up and running and ended up uh, only having about 40 and actually had to file chapter 11 bankruptcy. So he restructured the company and nowadays um, they have about 21 shops, about 20 in the US, one in Saudi Arabia. Um, but I mean, despite the questionable business decisions, makes a pretty damn good Neapolitan pizza. So why do you think people bought the franchises? I think he definitely used his clout because he's the CEO of Menchie's, which is the biggest um, frozen yogurt franchise. Um, and I think he, um, he got a little bold, a little cocky, and kind of jumped the gun. But, I mean, they're still around today, just not as big as he thought it was going to be. What is this? Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza. Typically, it has pineapples and that weird circular bacon. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's not spam, but it kind of looks like spam. Yeah, Canadian bacon. Oh, Canadian bacon. Making, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like the little circular ham. This is rosemary ham. It's great. I mean, I love pineapple on pizza. Controversial, but I love it. I'm not the biggest fan of pineapple on pizza, but let's try it here. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's basically a margarita pizza with less cheese and more ham. All right, so Medici was founded in 2015 and it's Neapolitan pizza. I think that means it comes from Napoli, right? Napoli? Naples? Naples? Isn't it Napoli? I don't know anything about Italy. Bro, I don't know <laughs> what the f*** is Napoli. <laughs> I'm about to Google this. It says both Naples and the locally Italian Napoli are acceptable. So I'm not so completely So she's the stupid. local Italian. Yes, in, uh, I'm more cultured. <laughs> Anyways, it comes from Naples. They import their tomatoes from Italy and they use really high quality olive oil, cheese, mozzarella. By cheese I meant Parmesan the first time. Everything is really good quality. So the standards are high. I mean, I love it. You can definitely taste the difference between like anything and this. <laughs> I know pizza's pizza. Even bad pizza is good pizza, but... This pizza's really oh, good. We got a New Yorker here, he might disagree. Yeah, I think that's false, but you know, <laughs> we'll just, we'll roll with it. I mean, Neapolitan, it's not, it's a different kind of pizza. It's not like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rate this against New York pizza. Um, it's good. Neapolitan's good, so. This is quite possibly the only pizza that doesn't make me feel like garbage. It's not greasy. The crust has like such a good char on it, but it's not burnt. It's not super floppy, but it's not really crispy at the bottom either. Medici actually uses wood ovens that were built by a third generation family company in Naples. So they burn at a thousand degrees and the, actually the whole pizza cooks in just 90 seconds. So we decided we were also going to get a margarita pizza. Everyone has margarita. As Kayla said, most pizza is good pizza. What is that? Is that ham? <laughs> <laughs> you can do a classic pizza well, then then you can go all crazy and get like their truffle and prosciutto things, you know? There you go. It's not too saucy, which is really good. I really like the texture of the dough. It's really soft. It's like chewy, but not like too chewy. It's not too thick, but it's also not too thin. That's what you were saying. They like 
sprinkle like fresh herbs on all their dough or most of their dough, which is interesting. So the roughest flour is called tipo, which is also known as number one. Then they have zero and then double O as the levels. And here we got the caputo double O. It's not that cheap, but compared <laughs> to like expensive fancy pizza, this is one of the cheapest ones I found. Like this was like 10 bucks for like the flour being imported from Italy, the tomatoes, everything's organic. So 10 out of 10. Another interesting fact, the flour that they use apparently has lower gluten content than most flours. I'm not sure why that is. Or what difference it makes. Yeah, I guess if you're a celiac, that's good, but you probably won't be having any of this. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if the gluten is low or high. I don't think you can classify Neapolitan as pizza. It's a different category. So I can't really compare it to like my favorite pizza. pizza. <laughs> look, look. This is definitely pizza. I don't know what the mic if is you're talking a, about. If, you know, I'm just being a little snobby about it. But if you like Neapolitan pizza, you gotta come to Medici. It's probably the best one in LA. So, and like Nicole said, it's relatively cheap, so. Bread stuffed with chocolate. It's a Nutella calzone. And fruit. What? I just choked. The dough is chewy, the Nutella's warm, and then you get like the freshness of the berries. So it's like warm Nutella mm. with like, just Pizza imagine dough. a really good piece of bread. Can't really go wrong. You put chocolate and bread with some fruit. Just amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Eat LA. Stay tuned next Thursday for another dope spot. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It'll really help us out and then you can watch all our shenanigans. <laughs>